Hey guys, how you guys doing? I hope you have a great night and everything prosper in your life. I just want to talk about how God himself created us in a way that we never imagined. Okay. We all been through them some things. We all been through things that we never imagined. We all got problems and we all got issues. But why can we not talk to each other about this issue that we have? Why do some people think they're better than us because of our skin color? Why do people think that African Americans are not capable of feeling some kind of type of way when they when they say no offense? Why we let people, you know, destroy our character and why we let our character comes out when people say things that is not true about us? Why some people think that because life is hard, they want to give up at this moment? Okay, here's the problem. Y'all letting your problems take over you. Y'all letting people negativity get into your skin. And basically, y'all just letting people in your ears when they're not supposed to actually be there. Ask yourself this. Is I'm better today or I'm better tomorrow or I'm better next week? Okay, I'm, t- I'm just going to tell you the truth. So every single mother, and I, know, I understand you are struggling. And you ask yourself every day why. You are better because of you. You are better because of what God put in you. You are better because of what he believed in you. He believed that in you. He breathed that in you. And he breathed that to your children. Understand that. Men. You are no different. You are the same as us as women. Be a part of your children more. And see the difference in your children. Understand understand how they feel today, tomorrow, or next week. Be attentive. Be loving. Be caring. And just actually just be there. It doesn't matter because a woman said you you cannot be there for your child. You just going to give up and say, oh, okay, I'm just going to walk away from my kid life. And that won't pop in my kid. That's not true. See, the thing about it here, understand this. That is how she feel about you. That's not what the child felt. The child needs you more than she needs you. So, no matter what a woman tell you to not be there for your kid, be there for your kid. Don't let none ha- don't let no woman tell you you can never be there for your kid. To be a great to be to get out from being a child and to being a great man is by you being attentive to your children. This is to me again, like I said before, you need to be more attentive to your children. If you're in prison, call your kids up, call them, and literally understand how they feel. You might get mad at the word, the, the question that they're asking you, but guess what? Still be attentive to your children, if, even though you're behind bars. Do not let your situation to stop you by being a father to your kid. Call your kids, check on them, and let them know you care and you love them. Because I'm telling you, it's never a guarantee in life what's today or tomorrow. You live your life every day like it's a purpose.
because it is a purpose. To you, you might give up. To the world, they don't care. But to God, you mean a lot. And never think that what you're doing is a mistake because it's not. You were never a mistake and never and God never created a mistake. So never think yourself as a mistake. Think yourself as what he think of you. His loving daughter. His possession. His wealth. He put that in you because he believed in you. Now it's time for you to believe in yourself. And it's time for you to stand up as a as any woman. All women need to stand up. Have a skin, have a um tough skin, and teach your children. When you go out there, half of people is not gonna like you. Half of people is not going to treat you the way I treat you. But you know what? God is gonna lead you in a better, in a better life. Whatever you want, God knows what you want. He knows it because it's in the heart. Believe in yourself. Teach yourself and guide yourself. And trust me, everything in this world will be fine. As long as you have God and as long as you have his tough love, you will be straight. You will be good in this world. May God bless you. Bye-bye.